Hi, I'm Andrew Watson. Thanks for joining me for my weekly guitar blog. It's December 21st, 2014, and this week we're going to be running through Open G Tuning. And this week's question was sent in from Vic. He's out in Santa Monica, California, and he wrote in with this email. I'm a big fan of a lot of Delta Blues players, as well as Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones. These guys all seem to like using a tuning called Open G Tuning. I actually found your YouTube channel from your video on Open D Tuning, and I was wondering if you would consider making another video like that for the open G tuning. Thanks for your YouTube lessons from Vic in Santa Monica, California, USA. Well, thanks for writing in Vic. You know, open G tuning is a really interesting open tuning that's probably one of the most common tunings of the Mississippi Delta blues guitar players. It's also very different from many of the other open tunings out there because it doesn't contain the lowest string as the root. Instead, the root is located on the fifth fret of the sixth string. And the layout of this tuning covers all strings going from the sixth to the first with the notes being D, G, D again, G again, B open, and then on top D for the first string. So once more that's D, G, D, G, B, D. Now, from standard tuning, just lower your first, fifth, and sixth strings one whole step for open G tuning. Now, let's uh, head to the guitar neck and check out playing some chords, plus a few guitar harmonies and some chord progressions using this open G style tuning. Well, one of the really interesting things about open G tuning is the fact that it's one of the only popular open tunings that doesn't have the root of the associated open chord functioning as the lowest bass guitar string. Instead, the root of the key is basically the fifth fret of that uh, sixth string there. So this means that when we're organizing our initial chord shapes on the neck for playing songs in this tuning, it's a pretty good idea to know how we can perform not only the uh, first and fourth and fifth chords of the key that is matched to the open tuning, uh, in this case of course that's key of G major, but also we should learn what a chord shape might look like for being able to play a 1-4-5 uh, progression in the key of the associated open uh, bass string as well. So in this case that's open D as our sixth guitar string. Just it's going to help you with your songwriting, it's going to, you know, if you ever want to modulate to another, uh, you know, over to that key as you're writing something in a key of G or vice versa, it's going to give you some more options there. Now I'd like to run through four popular chord shapes we would find in a majority of the songs played in open G. The first one I was going to show you is a bar chord idea, it could be done, you know, in the inside four guitar strings, you could also bar right across, get all six strings strings um, and you know it's movable so that happens to be in that seventh fret layout that's a D could move it down a whole step you'd have a uh, C note there or C chord sorry B major and so on just move them around laterally get those different chords um, in the next uh, shape I want to go over the uh, G major this one here I'm using I'm actually utilizing that open fifth string there and I have a small triad shape now this can also be utilized um, from open sixth as well just slide it down into that uh, second position <clears throat> and then and you can also you know think of that as a small triad shape in the inside there that's a G that's an F that's an E you can move it around a little bit come up with a couple of passing ideas for passing chords and so on uh, the next shape I want to cover is uh, entirely movable again uh, this one's an A major in the fifth position we have seven seven six and five you see that we're skipping fifth string and that one's movable you know that happens to be an A you move it down it's a G that you can rifle off of that uh, open sixth Kind of have some fun with that one. Um, and then uh, the last one I have is a minor chord. You know, I thought I'd better give you a minor there in case you're songwriting and you needed a minor in the harmony. So I gave it off of an E there at eighth position. We have nine, nine, and eight. You can see there's no use of the fourth string there. We're just going from fifth to third. And then on the second string, we have that eighth fret there. So nine, nine, and eight for that shape. And that's an E minor. And if you want to, uh, let's say, get a D minor, slide it down a whole step, C minor, B minor. You know, so on. I mean, as long as you know your intervals, you'll be able to move these things around no problem. Uh, especially the ones that are, of course, all fretted because it's going to make it a lot easier. When you're using the open strings for some of these, you have to sort of think a little bit more. But uh, anyway, after using 
some of these open uh, you know, shape, sorry, some of these initial chord shapes for the open G tuning, it's important to begin making sense of how they can be used musically, of course, uh, on the guitar. Uh, you can move these shapes across the fingerboard, as you just saw, to become any position of any major or minor chord voicing that you'd like. And, you know, it's vital that you play a lot of, um, you pay a lot of attention, pardon me, early on to the intervals uh, being created along the fretboard. Also, along with that, you need to become familiar with what kinds of harmonies these chord shapes relate to within the key signature. So in the next example, I wanted to create a fairly basic chord progression using some of the shapes that we just practiced. So uh, here's a short two measure progression in the key of G major that applies some of these chord shapes. It goes like this. One of the coolest things about open tunings is how they can be used to highlight a lot of the open guitar strings throughout a melodic phrase. In the next example, I've really done a lot of work here with this by including several open guitar strings through a fingerstyle based uh, melodic phrase. So it's a really interesting idea. Just start it slowly because it is a little bit complicated, but uh, it's a neat sound. So uh, anyway, here's how this uh, fingerstyle idea works. Well, in wrapping up the video, I wanted to more or less roll up a majority of these ideas that we've been discussing, uh, get them all together, create a little bit busier melodic example. I wanted to be able to use some uh, minor sounds, so we're going to get going with that as well. Um, another thing I wanted to do is uh, get the uh, harmony pointing more to the D, and we were talking uh, on that earlier, how uh, even though this is uh, open G tuning, we do have the opportunity to uh, blend sounds, maybe do some modulation in a piece we're writing and take us into targeting uh, the open D advantage that we have with this uh, tuning here. So the final example is going to be a little bit more challenging too, I should mention. So run through it more slowly at first and just, uh, you know, to build your technique and build your skills, make sure to turn on a metronome or get a drum machine going, get the tempo uh, started at where you can play it perfectly and then roll that tempo up to develop your technical skills for the part. So anyway, here's how this uh, last uh, riff goes. Uh, melodies, riffs, chord progressions, uh, finger style guitar, or whatever we might dream up in this open G tuning. One thing is for certain, we can make uh, maximum use of our open guitar strings in many different ways. Uh, once we're in the open tuning, we can facilitate all kinds of large chordal and layered harmonized sounds. Plus, this tuning makes for an easy time applying vocals. Just have a listen to Joni Mitchell and you'll hear what I mean. Uh, and then there's also the idea of playing slide within open tunings. Have a listen to maybe like Rob Johnson or Elmore James and you'll hear how cool uh, the sound a slide can be with open tunings as well. Uh, so basically, you know, experiment with this. Uh, tune your guitar into the open G tuning and maybe do something cool like write a song, come up with a couple of riffs. I'm sure that whatever you do, you're going to have a lot of fun jamming in this sound. It's a lot of fun jamming out in open G. Anyway, that's about all the time I have for today. As always, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great week and I'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now. The Music Reading Phase 1 ebook has over 30 pages of comprehensive project lessons covering the entire fifth reading position on the guitar. Music reading charts and drills will work to help students memorize the placement of the fifth position notes, including important sharp and flat tones. 
Several original and classic pieces of sheet music will help students to gain a solid understanding for this region of the neck. Rhythm studies, duration examples, plus song and location drills along with 19 MP3 audio tracks makes this one of the best music reading courses available online. Music Reading Phase 1 is available for instant download in the View Our Products area at creativeguitarstudio.com.